1.5 or 2 hours you have to spend might not be full syllabus test uh, which was about insulin why insulin cannot be intaken orally uh, zoology with respect to NEET 2026 and before like 2025 2026 and before then versus now hi my rock stars are you wondering how to score 180 out of 180 in NEET 2026 zoology then this video is for you I am your VR ma'am who will be teaching zoology in this channel and today I am going to explain the road map for NEET 2026 zoology which if you follow you are able to easily get 180 out of 180 in zoology in NEET 2026. Now we will see how many chapters you have to study for your NEET 2026 zoology. All you need to study is just 15 chapters. Class 9th, uh, class uh, 11th standard, you would be having around 9 zoology chapters. And in class 12th, you just have 6 chapters to study. In total, 15 chapters you have uh, for your NEET 2026 zoology exam. And from these chapters, around 45 questions will be expected. That is going to be total 180 marks. And in this one year, because we have around one year now, this video, if it is getting uploaded in May, even May end, uh, you have another entire an year where you can easily finish off these chapters and plus their revision, question practice and everything. Now, <clears throat> what type of questions will be expected in NEET 2026 exam? As you know, just like NEET 2025, NEET 2020, uh, as, as usual in NEET, you can expect statement based questions. There are two, ta two types of statement based questions that you can expect. Multiple statement and just two statements. So this type of questions are considered quite difficult and lengthy. And then you have mass the following questions. And you have direct questions. And assertion and reasoning repertoire questions which would be very few in number. So these are the varieties of questions that you can, can expect for NEET 2026. The problem that NEET 2025 aspirants faced was lengthy zoology and botany paper because there were more statement based type of questions, right? So usually the equal proportion of all these type of questions will be given, but sometimes some of the difficult questions that uh, some of the, uh, I mean, some of the type of questions can increase in the, it can go more in the, in their number in NEET exam. So you have to prepare for the worst. And going ahead, how many hours you have to spend for zoology in a day? In an around 1.5 or 2 hours you have to spend on zoology. That is you need to study or revise for around 1.5 or 2 hours in a day. And every day around 1 hour you have to you know, dedicate for question practice. That is 60 questions you should be covering in one hour. That is for one question, you should be giving around one minute or even less than one minute sometimes. Okay. So whenever you are solving the questions, make sure you keep the timer. And the next thing is how to practice questions. As I just told, the problem of NEET 2025 was lengthy paper because students actually ignored uh, biology like you know they, uh, they they consider biology as easy which is for sure correct but if in case if the questions are lengthy it will take more time right so make sure you solve questions by keeping timer that is one question should be solved less than a minute or when it comes to statement based questions I understand you can dedicate one minute for one question but if it is direct question spend less than one minute or maybe 30 seconds for one question and also make sure you fill OMR because filling OMR will take lot of time so when you're practicing questions make sure um, you practice in such a way that you also fill the uh, OMR sheet okay so uh, if you like if you take the subscription of different courses of uh, let's say PW they will also provide you OMR sheets uh, that that is whenever you are filling the whenever you are answering the questions, all you have to do is just the fill o, just fill OMR sheets as well, okay. And also you have to give weekly and monthly mock test. Without mock test, you are not able to crack NEET exam because you can increase your speed 
uh, in solving the questions also in filling the omr only through mock test which you have to give weekly or even monthly okay so if not i mean weekly at least two times in a month you have to give mock test it can be uh, it, it it might not be full syllabus test it might not be always a uh, full uh, you know syllabus in the sense like you need not always follow what uh, and neat follows like if in case if you have around let's say 100 questions give 100 minutes for these questions that is itself will become a mock test right and also in each mock test your score should increase by 10 to 20 let's say you gave a mock test and your score is 400 out of 720 Maybe in the next mock test, the score should increase at least to four ten, four twenty, like this. And this is how you have to practice the questions and give the mock test. And coming to the exam, which is which was present before and which is going to come this year, that is zoology then versus now. We 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 have to know and we have to acknowledge. We have to accept <clears throat> few things over here, like zoology was. coming out of ncrt before 2019 but now uh, there is no questions which is actually out of ncrt of course um, the concepts would be of ncrt only but very few things can go out of ncrt like for example there was a question which was been given in zoology uh, which was about insulin why insulin cannot be intaken orally and the question was there in biotechnology and its and its application chapter in the form of a in text question so whenever there is in text question exercise questions in uh, your uh, you know textbook you have to find answers for that because questions can come from that so this year that is need 2025 as well as upcoming years the questions are going to be lengthy but before questions were not lengthy but it was out of ncrt also from 2019 to 2024 there were equal proportion of questions uh, which was given in biology as well as zoology like there were more mass of following question and equal amount of certain based questions were there but this year that is need 2025 uh, more lengthy questions were asked so you to have to prepare for the same also <clears throat> uh from 2019 to 2024 questions usually came mostly from ncrt theory but this year that is need 2025 questions came from exercise questions as i said uh, i mean few things were out of not out of ncrt but uh, the something was there in said ncrt and very few things were out that's it exercise or ncrt example questions you have to find the answers as in text questions just now i have said about insulin which was an in text question answers was were not there directly but question was given so you have to find answers for that and also questions can be ex expected from diagrams and scientist names uh, scientist name is the one which is present in the beginning of the unit those scientist name their contribution you should know and also you should be studying from nook and corners of ncrt okay so this is what Uh, is zoology with respect to NEET twenty twenty six and before, like twenty twenty five, twenty twenty six and before, then versus now. And last thing, how you have to study, how to study uh, for NEET twenty twenty six zoology or in general biology. Of course, you have to study from NCERT, and along with NCERT. Uh, studying NCERT, you have to make your own notes. If not your own notes, let's say your teacher would have given some notes in the class, so those you can take up, but write down in your own notebook. Don't just refer somebody else notes, or just don't take the print out of the notes, but write down in your own handwriting. Write your own notes, and also make sure you revise weekly as well as monthly. Only revision is going to be helpful in biology. you would be able to complete your syllabus but if you just complete your syllabus that doesn't help much you have to keep on revising everything should be there in your brain you should be having the memory of what you have studied for which you need to revise monthly weekly so this is how at the end of the year or at the end of the neat exam preparation people would have revised for 25 50 times as well and make sure you study from ncert theory ncert exemplar uh, in text questions exercise questions diagrams as well and also from the summary even from the summary as well some lines can be expected in the statement based questions 
so this is the road map for neat 2026 zoology i hope this video is is helpful and let's meet in the next class next video until then bye bye